and we'll see that there is a quadratic, right, in this case. Now, we could still solve for t with x. Would you guys see how much work it is to solve for t with x? It's kind of like a lot of work, right? I mean, you have to add, take the square root, plus or minus. So while we usually like to solve for t in the x equation and solve it for y, you know, that we like that, it's OK. We don't always have to have it as y equals. So what we'll do in this case is let's solve for t on this equation, because obviously that's easier, right? You just have to divide by 2. So therefore, I have x equals um, y over, oops, I'm sorry, t is y over 2. I had that right. No. No. I, y over 2 is equal to t. Oh, OK, never mind. Right? OK. So now I just have to square this. So y over 2 squared is going to be x equals y squared over 4 minus 3. And I can still solve this for y. All I'd have to do is add a 3 to both sides. x plus 3 equals um, y squared over y over 4. And then multiply by 4 on both sides. So therefore, I get y squared equals 4x plus 12. And for right now, we're going to learn how to simplify this better. But for right now, that's perfectly fine. All I'm really asking you guys to do for eliminating the parameter is just write the equation in terms of x's and y's. We usually like to have it solved for y, but for right now, you're going to get caught on a couple of these. 